Hey, I'm Alex. Welcome to my kitchen studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take footage that you've already shot and format it and export it in Premiere Pro for an Instagram story post. Uh, so yesterday I was playing around and doing a little bit of a tomato video. So I'm going to be showing you some of the footage that I made um, and then how I'm exporting it and posting it on Instagram story. So let's get started. Okay, so here I go. I'm in Premiere Pro and this is the video I shot. It's uh, just a tomato kind of snack that I put together. Um, and right now it's in the full screen version, um, 1920 by 1080. But I want to take this footage and crop it and export it so that I can put it as an Instagram story. So it all needs to be vertical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything and then go to File, New Sequence. And I'm going to call this Instagram story. And the settings for this are basically um, the same, except we're going to be flipping it from horizontal to vertical. So instead of 1920 by 1080, it's going to be 1080 by 1920. Um, and we want square pixels. Um, I actually shot this in 60 frames per second, so we're going to do that. Everything else looks good and going as Instagram story and okay. So we have this whole new um, display. This is the frame we're going to be looking at. This is the size of the phone when you're looking at it vertically. So we're going to paste um, all the footage and we're going to take a look at it. I'm going to just kind of do my markers. Um, I use these because for Instagram story, of course, we want to make sure for this upload that it's not more than 15 seconds because that's what we have to work with. Um, so, um, here we go. You can see that right now it's, it need, it's cropped wrong and we need to kind of zoom in and um, enlarge this footage so it fills in the whole screen. So, I'm going to go here to scale. And I think around 178 is a good, good one for me. Um, you know, you start to see black bars if you kind of pull it out a little more. So I keep it at 178. Um, and let's see, I like that's pretty centered. Some of the clips you might have to play around with because they won't be as centered in the screen. So let's see where this one comes in. So you don't see my hands rolling the tomatoes. So I'm actually going to kind of drag it over a little to where you see my hands dropping them. Let's see how that looks. And I want to make sure where that tomato stops is still in the shot. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I might just pull it out, pull it over a little more. So the thing with doing a vertical video off of footage you shot horizontally is that you may have to kind of adjust the frames, um, pull it over so that the main focus of what you're shooting is still in the screen. So that looks good. Let's see. We'll enlarge this one of the olive oil being poured on. So you see I'm kind of cutting off the beginning of the pour of this olive oil. So I'm going to drag this over a little bit so that we get the pour in the shot. There we go. I like that. Slide it 
slicing, pouring, great. That looks good, drizzle, drizzle, yum. Okay, and then I'm garnishing it with some salt, pepper, and thyme. I wanna make sure that's in the shot, there we go. And then picking it up. And then my logo at the end, so that needs to be enlarged a little too. S and centered a little better, let's see. I kind of want it up a little more too. So that looks pretty good. Let's um, just kind of see from the beginning where we're at. It's dropping in, rolling, cutting, pouring. Okay, so let me render this. Um, quickly. All right, so it has rendered and now we can see the whole thing, make sure that it's all lined up and in frame the way I want it to. Looks good. All right. Great. Okay, so I'm going to save this and export it. And here we go. H2 H.264 is what we want. You can um, leave it here. It'll match the source. Um, since this is only a 15 second video, you can keep it at a high bit rate. Um, since Instagram typically only supports uh, videos that are um, under 50 megabytes. Um, but anywhere between 20 and 30 is where I typically try to hit. Um, of course, um, as long as it's under 50, you should be okay. So I'm gonna do second pass and just double check this, 1080 by 1920. Again, my frame rate is 60, so I'm going to keep it at that. Um, file size 19. I'm just going to change this to um, tomato Instagram story and save it and then export it. There you go. All right, so the video has exported. I'm going to find it here. And we have Instagram story, tomato Instagram story. So I'm just going to go to AirDrop and share it right to my phone. There we go. This is like the quickest way for sharing um, stories from computer to your phone and since I'm posting this right from my phone um, it went straight there so all right let's jump on my phone and take a look at it okay so here we go here's my phone looks like it got sent good looks good all right so I'm going to open Instagram here go on to my page and then add a new story so let's see here we go here's the most recent one so here it is it looks good it's formatted and fits the screen really nicely perfect so I'm just gonna add it and there we go now you can check it out see this looks really good this is how you can get high quality professional looking video footage on your Instagram story. Awesome. Alright, so there we go. We got the video posted on Instagram story just like that. If you guys want more videos of tips and tricks on how to do food videography and make food videos, be awesome. Um, just subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be trying to do updates 
and kind of share behind the scenes of how I make food videos. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time.